Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher. We have returned in uh, Triss's house, and we're going to see what the crack is with uh, Shani, etc. Because she's probably going to be absolutely fuming, because we took Alvin away from her. But at the end of the day, I do still feel like it was a smart idea. Whether Shani will think the same, I'm not sure. I have a feeling I'm going to be stuck in a situation where it's physically going to be impossible to talk to Shani ever again. Uh, again, hopefully, hopefully I made the right choice in this situation, but I guess we'll find out, because you never know, do you? You never know. Right, Temple Quarter. Oh, goodness me. Right. Certainly, it's a very interesting situation here. Like, like, like the, the 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 fact that Alvin is apparently the source of all the monsters in Zima is quite worrying and very unexpected. You thought it would have been something, maybe a little bit more monsterish, but no, it's actually it's actually just Alvin. It's actually just a little boy, which is quite sad, but it is what it is. Where is Shani's house? I do love that, the eager thighs brothel. brothel. That's, that's, that's a hell of a name, isn't it? Where is Shani's house? Am I missing something here? Shani's house is definitely... Oh, it's there. Oh, it's up. It's all up, up, up. Right. We don't have any more things for the dentist, do we? I don't think we do. How can I help you? Take care. Imagine just walking up to tooth. Imagine just <laughs> seeing him, saying to him, "Bye, yeah, p people dislike you." That would be very, very awkward. Uh, okay, Shani. I have some bad news for you. Where is she? Probably upstairs, resting or something like that. Oh god, she's here. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? It's all well, Geralt. Brace yourself, guys. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you. Out of my sight. I will forget your very name. What are you doing here? Paying a visit. You're not welcome here. Okay. That's that then. Uh, yeah. So I don't think me and Shani are going to be saying hi to him uh, many times uh, soon. Ouch. That's a shame because Shani was quite a good person, to be honest. But if she's not, if she's not going to see sense, then well, yeah. Again, Triss is one of our major allies, so I think it is kind of a good idea to keep her on side. Plus, again, I do think it, it was the best thing to do. So let's head to the trade quarter. See what's going down. Maybe Triss will give us something else to do, but if not, we can just head to the new Narakot Inn and join the little banquet that's, uh, what's his face? Levarden has uh, thrown. I can't move. There we go. Kind. Of, what the hell is going on? That was weird. Still feels a little bit delayed. No, it's fine now. What was going on there? No, I'm I'm stuck again. What on earth is happening right now? Maybe my maybe my uh, keyboard's running out of battery. I don't know. That would be that would be quite an awkward situation. I don't know how many batteries in the, how many batteries are in this house. <coughs> uh, right. Oh, where's Triss gone now? Oh, if she's right out, if she if she's gone out the house again, I swear to God. She probably has, hasn't she? Ah, oh, she has. Triss, why do you leave the house? Why do you have a? Why do you have? Why do you have things to go to? Alvin. 
puppy. You'll get a dog someday, I You'll promise. You'll get a dog someday, <clears throat> I promise. <clears throat> I do apologize for splustering all over the place. Yeah, I don't know which, where Triss tends to go, to be completely honest. Oh, she's there. No reason to be here she's just here. wandering the streets. I Chris? need time to myself. Come back later. But I need to talk to you now. Why is that poor no boy highly highlighted in green? Is there a reason for this? It's raining. Mother hates me speaking with strangers. Mother hates you speaking with strangers, but you're literally following me around. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Stop following me, please. Triss. I need some time to myself. I'll come back later. I just I, I need to talk to you about Alvin. Triss! God's sake. Well, I guess the best thing to do now will be just, just go to go to the inn then. But where where does Triss go actually? When she's not in the house? I am curious. She she maybe does actually go to the inn. But Yeah, I don't know. Uh whatever, let's go in the inn. And we'll see if we can get upstairs. See what Levan's uh, saying. That camera pan is very strange and necessary, I must say. Get what the hell happened to him? Well, we've we've got a disappearing security guard, which is quite concerning. But apart from that, it all seems quite normal in here. Alright, so let's go upstairs. Hopefully the bank Ah, the banquet is well in full flow. Goodness me. That dwarven loan shark dared to demand repayment. Princess Ada should marry. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. I cannot believe I spoke to a princess. They cannot ah, expect us to stand time. all night. <coughs> they cannot expect us to stand all night. I don't know why. Varden has excellent taste. Oh, uh, oh, Triss is actually at the banquet. Of course she is. What's in here? Anything interesting? Can I close the door again? No, I can't. Uh, a mysterious note. Note in hastily and sloppy handwriting. I'll take that then. Number of the world's regions. <coughs> I do apologize. Uh, coughing all the time, guys. Oh, oh, that might, that might not be a good idea. Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? <coughs> Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. Ah, okay. Uh, we can give him some alcohol to cover our tracks. Although I didn't actually take any alcohol from from the chest, I don't think. Uh, there you go. There you go. Stupid idea. And now I'm at, now I'm absolutely drunk. That is excellent. So if I just wait for him to leave, for him to leave again. Ah, oh, yeah, there is actually some some good alcohol in there, isn't there? Right, so let's see what this r note says. The cast was done according to the guidelines and the craftsman is already gone for good. Make sure that all the other traces vanish. Nobody should be able to prove that we are responsible for forgery or find a connection between me and your superior. You know what to do about the rest. P.S. Take care of the Witcher. So is it... Uh Thalo is interested in the political situation in Vizima. He's also investigating an important case about in in involving forgeries. Right, okay. We, we might have to pay him a visit then. Tris, can I speak to you now? Yes, we, yes, we go. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. I can't quite see straight to the minute, Tris. Uh, just, just so you're aware. Smile, Witcher. This won't take long. I'll look around, maybe meet someone interesting. Probably not. 
Goodness me, look, look at all these people. Count Duet, Ada, Velarad, Thar- Oh, Thar was here. Old Vizima's ashes still smolder, and the royal family consorts with the Nilf Guardian. Luvarden has excellent taste. Old Vizima's ashes okay. still smolder, and the royal family Female companion. With the Nilf you should Guardian. find yourself a real woman. Everyone knows riches and barren. Herald? Welcome to Lord Nilfgaard. Thank you. Shall I speak to Luvarden? Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Thank you. Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look at <coughs> the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. I feel like something very Forgive bad's about me, to happen I here. I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. You just feel like someone's gonna die or something in here. Be nice. Uh, Ada. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other. Do we not, Witcher? One could say so, princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like Ah, this is the woman who so we saved from... You could not imagine, Witcher. Uh, the curse, didn't we? Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Uh... Give me a minute. Uh, I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion, the curse. I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion, the curse. Shut your filthy mouth, mutant. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the curse may yet. Enough. Your highness. Oh, my God. What allow the? Allow me to cast this drifter out. We no longer desire to speak with you. I didn't mean to offend. You shall be summoned when I need you. Get out of my sight, freak. Okay. That's very polite, and now my I can't move again. The minx didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'd be careful. I have the distinct nothing I can something nasty lurks behind that innocent face. I'll keep that in mind. Probably. I said I, did, I did. Why can't I move properly? Okay, it's working now. It's very odd. This. Uh, let's talk to Thala. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller, sorry. Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored. Whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shall Fair be bothering enough. you. Come, Geralt. Indeed. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Uh... Am I drunk? I'm probably drunk, aren't I? <laughs> That's good. Oh my god, I, I can't see. Valorat! Geralt, ashes still smolder, and the royal... Geralt, allow yeah, me to uh, introduce I, I, I can't see what's Bellarad. going on, to be honest. Charmed. Greetings! It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No Ooh. need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster, or petition the king, uh, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Fair Excuse enough. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Luvarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. I shall bear that in mind. Oh, there's some people have disappeared. Tal is not Tal is not around anymore. T 
He's certainly not going to speak at any any point, is he? It's not strong enough. <laughs> and now I'm stuck again. Holy hell! I have to get that sorted out. Be nice. Get out of my sight, freak. I don't. I. I, I don't think he likes us. You shall be summoned when I need you. You should find yourself a real woman. Everyone knows witches are barren. I'll be with you shortly. Give us a moment, please. I'm busy now. Okay, I guess we'll just wander out the, the door. Welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. I feel like this. I feel like the mysterious nobleman is going to. He's going to have. Oh, there's, there's a couple of them actually. Triss Merigold is the most beautiful woman in the world. Well, calm down. We now. cannot all be city cats. I cannot believe I spoke to a princess. Luvarden has excellent taste. Indeed. I can't believe I spoke to I a princess. Believe I spoke to a princess. Calm down. Jesus. The nobles were hit hardest by the plague. Why did they all come if they dislike Luvarden? They cannot expect us to stand Someone's probably going to try and murder him. Okay. Princess so Abishu so we can't marry. Uh Well, I can't actually speak to anybody else. So, I guess we'll leave. Ah. Uh, be nice if maybe we weren't totally drunk. But yeah. Wait, what if we go back up? Because at this present moment in time, I'm not sure what, what we're actually going to do. Because we can't speak to Triss because she's in here. We can't speak to any of the guests because because the, that, the tournament was a mere I mean, Dewet doesn't want to talk to us. So, wait, was there anything? Is there anything in this cabinet? Maybe. It's just it's just pepper vodka and some more booze. Nothing of any interest to us, I don't think. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much of any interest in here right now, is there? For us, unfortunately. I think this dresser. A sugar doll. What in God's name is a sugar doll? How very odd. Welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. Where's Tala gone? He's just vanished. Oh, he's there. Tala. There we go. Enjoying yourself? I should speak to somebody. Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. Probably. It's a sign of the times. New customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. It's not, it's just Someone just from the past, with that. <laughs> so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I have the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Mm -hmm. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Oh, Christ. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. That's similar to what Triss said, that we need to actually pick a side soon. Oh god, this is getting true, isn't it? Hmm, this is quite fishy. 
Is Levarden somehow involved? Is Levarden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Levarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Louvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Hmm. Who exactly is Dewet and what is he doing here? Who exactly is Dewet and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small. So he gets <laughs> aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilf guardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Oh dear. Who exactly... Uh, no. Why do you want me to draw into a game that doesn't concern Why me? Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. <clears throat> someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Someone in this room could be a patron of Salamandra. Great. That's uh, that's that's encouraging. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. To marry an intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. Oh, I wow. find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after... Are they a personal matter, or an ideological one? Both. Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. I'm honest. Excuse me for a moment, we'll talk later. Excuse me for a moment. I feel like we'll something very, very bad's about to happen any minute now. Tell him in my river realize that my motivations are complex. Yes, they are. Give a little bit. A I need to get a bite. Get I can't speak with them I'm anymore. Okay. I'm busy now. Tris. I'll be with you shortly. Give us a moment, please. In politics. Ada. Oh, here we go. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Uh, Not entirely. Not entirely. But look around the room. People whispering in each other's ears, tongues flapping. Tongues, tongues, tongues. Uh -huh. <laughs> Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Jesus Christ, Finally, this is this is getting a bit is left uh... with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness. Sore throat. <laughs> we are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, Your Highness. Power sex the both come to one that <laughs> Uh fucking other <laughs> <laughs> that is 
that is such a true statement, isn't it? Like, in honestly. Wow. Not all men, I have no desire to- I really want to say that second one, but I'm not going to. Not all men. That is, a, that no is such a very true statement. Politics, for instance. So what are you doing here, where everyone meddles and schemes? I'm here with Triss. I'm here with Triss. That doesn't interest me. As a matter of fact, you've spoiled my evening. Forgive me, Princess. I didn't mean. Oh, God. Apology not accepted. Out of my sight. Duet, we're leaving. She's such a bitch. And freaking Devet's even. Oh, Christ, what's happening now? Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Well then, that's uh... What's the gift of Lara? What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doranep Shiadal was no normal elf. More like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Lod, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Right. Okay. Not finding this party dull. Not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? At home, Geralt. At home. <laughs> Chris Witt. Witcher. About my identity. About my identity. Any progress? I'm still analyzing. Okay. Wait. About the Trace. boy. About the boy. Not now, darling. The walls have ears. Fair I'll enough. Yeah. I'm. Okay then. So we need to talk to Declan. Let's have a look at that elder blood thing. A genetic program instituted by elven mages for the, for, for the purpose of creating extraordinary gifted child whose power would exceed their own. According to the prophecy of the elven dinner Ithla eh, just dinner, elven diviner, Ithlany, the child of Elder would one day save the elves from annihilation. Have the last carrier of Ain Hen Icha, Lara Doran Ep Shadhal. I apologize for the pronunciations. Bonded with a human instead of an elf, thus shattering all plans regarding her offspring. Ah, that's awkward. But apparently Alvin does have elder blood inside him, which is interesting. So, Declan. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will <laughs> you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Yeah, they have tons of it. I say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, Evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence missions, sir. <laughs> Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. Okay, okay. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Formula for White Raffords. What was that? What, what was that? Uh, oh Christ! We got we got freaking every, uh, tons of new quests. Oh, we also gained the level, which is good. Um. Oh wait, wait we got a scroll, didn't we? I think was it. Contains the following for white wrap. Oh, it, it, it restores lost vitality. 
which means is that is that a, is that is that actual health potion, not just like a progression or regeneration thing? That's uh, that's quite useful actually. We need time. Return later. Okay, so if we talk to Tris again. Wait. Oh. Okay, so so this part is totally over basically. So let's look at these new quests we have. Um, let's see. Got four, five new ones, was it? Okay, so four in the thread. Levarden asked me to pursue an investigation in the Temple Quarter. If I have any problems, I should see him to gain more information. Levarden suggested I speak with Jethro, who is a Fistech addict and must have a source. Salamandra is involved in the Fistech trade. Very true. Thala memorizing my motivations are complex. Yep. I need to complete my investigation in the Temple Quarter and the Swamp. Okay, so so we need to investigate both bases. Reaping time. You should see Vasca the Brickmaker's Legion may information. Good idea. Maybe, maybe that will also help us in finding the boy uh, for Vasca as well. That would be a good idea. Shani was furious when she learned that I decided to do with Alvin. Things between us will never be the same again. I was wise to choose Triss. Yep. Very much so. Okay. So let's get out of this place. So. Let's leave the inn. And I think... On this note, as soon as it loads, we... Oh, hang on. Something's happening. I think, no? Oh, okay, no, nothing's happening. Wait, oh wait, no, something is happening. Hang on a second. I was going to leave the episode here, but something seems to be going down. Waste between Duet and Tala. Hold on just a second. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What's going on? What do you want, Duet? That scoundrel Tala. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Talar is hereby dismissed from his position as head of What's the Tamarian Intelligence Service. When did that happen? And Talar objects? You're kidding. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. I'll, I, I'll hear both I'll sides. Hear both sides. What the hell is going on, Tala? Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Tala? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edict. Oh, it, oh, he was he was investigating Ford, wasn't he? Seal, you ball licking bastard! How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Falter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, Dewet. I can prove it, and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never! You won't take me oh, alive, shit. you shit! Oh god, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll hear both sides. I'll hear both Fucking hell. Have you made- Tala walks. That- this sounds fishy to me. I don't trust this duet person at all. Tala walks. You will regret this, Witcher. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea. But I must speak with you. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narakord. Right. Tala claims that he did dismissing him from his post as a forgery. Tala invited me to join him at the new Narakord. So, I don't think Dewet likes me. I don't like Dewet. I think he is a... He's a, he's a scoundrel, to be completely honest with you. He seems like the most fishiest person you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, but yes. Now that that's sorted, uh, things are definitely developing in quite an alarming array all of a sudden uh, in the story. So we'll so we'll see what transpires in the next couple of episodes. So yeah, I'll see you in this episode, guys. Hope you do have, have enjoyed this one. Well, thanks again, and I will see you in the next, in the next episode of The Witcher. Thanks again, guys. Bye bye.